evening, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Healing Eucharist Daily Mass. Today is Tuesday of the 13th week in Ordinary Time. We thank you for joining us today and every day. Our priest presider is Reverend Father Glenn Paul Gomez, SBD. We now begin our celebration. Rejoice and earth be glad, let all creation sing. Let children proclaim to every land, Hosanna to our King. Sound the trumpet into the night, the day of the Lord is near. consciously connect our own self with our personal God as we say in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Huling araw po ng buwan ng Oktobre. So October 31st ngayon at bukas ay November 1st na. Yan ang araw po ng mga santo at santa. Sa Ebanghelyo ngayon, Tuesday, October 31st, saan ba pwedeng ihambing ang kaharian ng langit sa isang mustard seed na maliit pero lalago. Kaya nandito po tayo para magpasalamat sa Diyos at uh, upang maging karapatapat po tayo makilahok sa pinakamataas na panalangin ng banal na misa, Tumahimik tayo sa mandali. Hilingin natin kay Jesus, linisin ang ating mga puso. Hilingin natin sa Banal Espiritu Santo, liwanagan ang ating isipan. At hilingin natin sa ating Diyos Ama sa langit. Tanggalin ang lahat ng uri ng sakit sa katawan at higit sa lahat tanggalin ang mga kasalanan sa kaibutura ng ating mga puso. Manalik tayo ang ating Diyos ay tunay na mapagmahal at mapagpatawad na Diyos. You were sent to be the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life, which is everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Manalangin po tayo. Almighty and ever-living God, strengthen our faith, hope, and love. May we do with loving hearts what you ask of us and come to share the life you promise. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I consider that the suffering of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to futility not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it, in hope that creation itself would be set free
from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor things even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves who have the fruit, first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies, for in hope we were saved. Now hope that sees for itself is not hope, for who hopes for what one sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has done marvels for us. The Lord has done marvels for us. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. When our mouths was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has done marvels for us. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord has done marvels for us. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done marvels for us. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown. They shall come back rejoicing, carrying their ships. The Lord has done marvels for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? So what can I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that a man took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush and the birds of the sky dwelt in its branches. Again, he said, To what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like this that a woman took and mixed it in three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch of dough was leavened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So magandang gabi po muli at uh, tayo po ay uh, magnilay-nilay at saan ba pwedeng ahiluntulad ang uh, kaharian ng Diyos. Okay, yan po ang ating uh, pagninilayan. So nabanggit ko na nga po kanina dito po sa ating um, healing Eucharist sa uh, Okay, papasok rin po natin kung uh, papasok. Yan, yeah. amen. Praise the Lord. So tuloy-tuloy po yung ating uh, pagdiriwang ng Banal na Misa dito sa ating The Healing Eucharist Daily Mass. So Tuesday, huling araw po ng buwan ng Oktubre. At uh, sa atin na mga kalendaryo ng lit- liturgy still na sa 30th week in ordinary time ibig sabihin ang pinaka sagad po ay 34 no ng uh, ordinary time ibig sabihin o tatlo tatlo o apat na lang 
Christ the King na naman. Ano ibig sabihin ng Christ the King? Last Sunday po sa ordinary time. Kaya dito nga, sa Christ the King, no? eh, piyesta pa. Okay, so Tuesday, ito na nga po ang Evangelio, Luke 13, uh, 18 to 23, and today is October 31st. So, uh, what is the central message of Jesus? It's about the kingdom of heaven. It's about eternal life. Kaya tingnan po ang katabi, pinakanda, makakapasok ba yan sa karyan ng Diyos? <laughs> yan, Sister Dolores, yun na yan. Sister Janet, amen. <laughs> so, ating tanong ngayon, yan, to what is it compared to? Saan ba siya pwedeng ihaling tulad? Dalwa ang uh, pwede, ang sabi ni Jesus. Sa una, mustard seed, pangalawa doon sa yeast, yung labadura. Eh, napakaganda. Ano ang message? Sa totoo lang, the kingdom of heaven will grow by itself. Ang kaharihan ng Diyos, lalagbo yan. Yung kingdom of God, kingdom of heaven. Eh, kung tutusin eh, hindi ka na kinakailangan, hindi na kinakailangan tayo. Pero syempre, bilang tagasunod ni Jesus, eh meron din tayong human effort, ika nga. Kaya nga sa ating uh, Help C, the Healing Eucharist Loving Prayer Partners Community, at ito sa ating uh, Healing Eucharist Everyday Mass, yan lang naman po ang ating hinihiling na kung sakasakaling mawawala na tayo sa mundong ibabaw, no? ano ibig sabihin? Makapasok tayo sa kaharian ng Diyos. Ano ibig sabihin ng makapasok sa kaharian ng Diyos? Ina nga, pag nandun pala sa heaven, aba, ay di wala ng problema, wala ng martes, wala ng fake news, wala ng may sakit, wala ng namamatay. Kasama na natin ang mga anghel, kasama natin ang mga santo at santa. Yun ang ating minimiti. At kaya bukas, tamang-tama, paala-ala. Yun lang naman talaga ang tayong lahat ay makapasok sa kaharian ng Diyos. At ang langit ay hindi lang ito future event. Kaya ang sinasabi, heaven is now. Ang langit ay ngayon. Sana nga, siyempre, talagang idea yun. Hanggat sa mundong ibabaw, nandiyan ang problema, nandiyan yung mga challenges, nandiyan yung mga trials, nandiyan yung mga hiyak, mga pinsati, mga sakit sa ah, agrabe. Pero kung may pananampalataya sa Diyos, malalampasan ang lahat ng pagsubot. Kaya huwag mawala ng pag-asa, kaya yung maski maliit, yung maliit na pagtitiwala, maliit na pag-uunawa, ang lahat ng bagay nag-uumpisa sa maliit. At yan ay yayabong. At kung, mga, kung sa tinapay nga, kasi kung walang libadura, walang yeast, ay hindi no, lalaki ang tinapay. So, ganun. Sana tayong lahat, ang ating pananampalataya ay yumabong para sa kabila ng mga pagsubok, tayo'y kakapit at malalampasan ang lahat ng pagsubok. Feel mo. Yes mo. Go with mo. Eh, tumahimik po tayong sumandali ngayong araw, huling araw ng uh, Oktubre. At pasalamatan natin ang Diyos sa mga nangyari itong nakakaang buwan. At uh, with eagerness, we welcome the new month of November. At tamang-tama naman, tugmang-tugma naman, All Saints Day to us. Kaya ngayon naman po, ating i-verbalize ang ating mga pangangailangan. And for each petition, we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, bishops, priests, deacons, and all who exercise authority in the church, may they be faithful in their service for the people of God, we pray. Lord, Hear our prayer. For all of us gathered today, may we see everything through the eyes of faith, that we may realize that God, that everything is God's gift to us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all missionaries who have left home, country, and family to proclaim the gospel to all nations, may the Lord protect them from all dangers strengthen them in their loneliness, give joy to their communities, 
and fulfillment in their apostolate. May the Lord reward them in this life and in the life to come for their sacrifices and generosity for the kingdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, you know what is best for each one of us. Heal us, O Lord, and give us the grace to overcome all our weaknesses and to rise above our the challenges that come our way so that we could enter your kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. All this we ask through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Offer for it. The liturgy of the You know, my dear friends, that this is our sacrifice and our personal intentions may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and the good of all His holy truths. Lord God, the power and might, receive the gifts we offer. And let our service give you glory from this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To whom do you lift up your hearts? We lift them up to the Lord. So let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit in one of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bands of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we pray. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, upon a full of holiness. I call you therefore the skills to pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew, Paul, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
is before I put you in for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, a bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your preference and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Honesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy, the religious and their people. Remember also all brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, have mercy on us, O Lord, we pray. That we, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may present glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ, to him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the aid of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Ipakita po natin sa ating mga sa langit to ating pananampalataya. The kingdom of God will grow by itself. Pero bilang alagad ni Jesus, tagasunod ni Jesus, tayo rin naman ay may mga dapat gawin. Ipakita natin ngayon ating kagustuhan na makatulong para lumago ang kaharian ng Diyos dito sa lupa. At ikayong awitin ng dasal ay tinuro sa atin ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. in our days and with the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ and the apostles I leave you peace my peace I give you Lord look not on our sins but look on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. 
Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Kapayapaan. Yes, to the Lord. Kanet. Yan. Anthony. Marlon. At sa inyong puni na ka. Kapayapaan. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Kitigan po natin ang ating malanakot ang ating Kristo. Ngayon, pinaalalahanan tayo na ang kaharihan ng Diyos ay lalago. Aalsa. Bilang tagasunod ni Kristo, gawin natin ang ating misyon. Tutok kay Jesus sa Diyos sa Badal na Espiritu Santo. Behold our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior in this world. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, happy are those who are called to His suffer. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In the body and blood of Christ, bring us to life everlasting. Amen. An act of spiritual communion. By Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you to my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you, Amen. So ngayon po, isama din natin muli ang ating mga kapatid na nangangailangan ng pagkilom. Pagkilom ng katawan, pagkilom ng puto, pagkilom, pagkilom, pagkilom ng isipan, mawala ang kadiliman, at pagkilom ng Spirit ng Santo. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus God, Holy Spirit, our blessed Trinity, we praise and thank you for reminding us tonight that the kingdom of heaven will grow by itself. Lord, give us the grace so that we will enter heaven. And Lord, may we experience heaven here on earth. Tunay na langit kapag kami ay wala ng sakit, walang nadadamang kalungkutan, walang problemang kinakaharap. Kaya Panginoon, naniniwala kami at nagpapasalamat sa pangako mong langit na lalago sa mundong ibabaw na pakaraming pagsubok, Panginoon. Lalong-lalo na sa mga may asawa, may mga anak, may pamilya. Sa panahon ngayon, ang paloob pa rin ang pandemya, paloob ng mga gera, Ukraine, sa Gaza, Israel. Kaya Lord, Tunay na, tipuin mo ang bawat isa. Tanggalin ang sakit sa katawan, ang sakit sa puso, sa damdamin. Tanggalin ang kalungkutan, tanggalin ang mga depresyon, tanggalin ang kadiliman sa aming isip. At nawa ang aming kaluluwa ay tunay na mahito. So we claim for the hour is speedy and total, integral, holistic healing. Kasama ang paghilom ng kalikasan, ang lahat ng ito itinig namin sa pamagitan ni Kristo, aming Panginoon. Amen. Amen. Uligin natin ang Panginoon. So maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Kaya kay Sister Dolor, kay Sister Janet, yan kay Anthony at kay Marlo. So ating uh, pasalamatan, Sister Dolor, ang ating choir. Thank you po uh, sa Music and Life Ministry, Brother Aaron and Madel Malansala, Sister Chiki Malansala, Sister Faith Abanyo, Sister Karen Merendilia, Kay Merendilia, 
Brother Erwin Limon, Sister Karen and Divine Limon, Sister Joyce Dais, Brother Levi Mendoza, and Tete Nagura. And thank you, Father, for presiding us tonight. So muli, uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong mga panalangin, sa inyong mga pinansyal na tulong. At ito na nga, itong huling araw ng Oktubre. Kaya ang healing Eucharist Daily Mass ay nandito po. So, sulat po ninyo yung mga mahal sa buhay na nauna na sa atin. Ngayong All Saints Day, ngayong All Souls Day, no? At uh, isasama po natin. At uh, hindi man siguro makaabot, kaya tingnan nyo po kung aabot yung inyong mga ibibigay na mga pangalan. Pero alam ng Diyos at uh, kasama sila. Kaya isasama po natin lahat ng ating mga mahal sa buhay na nauna na sa atin. Manalangin tayo. Lord, bring to perfection within us the communion we share in this sacrament. May our celebration have an effect in our lives. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharistic celebration has just ended, but our mission begins. Begins. Go with Jesus. Go with our spirit. Go with God the Father because God goes with you. Thanks be to God. See you tomorrow. God bless.